let's start with the news with a Studio Ghibli announcement about a sort of a theme park they're opening called Ghibli Park that is going to be a about a 500 acre park in Aichi Prefecture and that is in the place that inspired my neighbor Totoro so those rolling hills there was actually a house built that was a replica of Mei and Tsutsuki's house in Totoro that uh, was built separately and was then moved here to the place where it was uh, where that was inspired and they've, they've since protected the area and they decided to instead of just kind of letting it go they're going to just to buy the entire area um, or it's not buy the entire area they haven't quite made clear who owns it but they're going to set up a theme park there and it's going to create the re recreate the world of my name is Totoro they've said they're not going to fell any trees or otherwise affect the their natural environment and it's going to be an attraction for both foreign and domestic tourists this is something they mentioned in the announcement and the important thing there is basically means the signs will be in english you know you'll you'll be able to navigate the park even if you're not japanese which will be kind of nice and it's a uh, co-funded operation between Ghibli and the prefectures. That's pretty cool. Um, we will see where that develops over the next few years. It's only mm, three years away or so. And so we'll see uh, how that develops into a an area. It's kind of an odd idea because it's a large, I mean, it's 500 acres. Uh, presumably it'll have like walking trails and exploration, things like that. And it'll be less of a, a dense thing than a typical uh, park. So. That's cool. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, moving on to some other news about classic anime. Uh, an anime adaptation was announced for The Record of Grand Crest War, which is a series of light novels by the creators of Record of Lotus War, or the writer of Record of Lotus War. It's a little complicated. I'll do a backstory about it. But basically, this is a uh, based on a very popular series of light novels, fantasy, D&D-esque kind of storylines. And there's going to be a, an anime series. I don't think we have an announcement on the length of the anime series. Hopefully it will be a reasonable, reasonable length. Um, but I, I guess we can assume at least 12 episodes. Um, it looks like it's going to be a TV show, but again, that's, I, I don't see an, a specific confirmation on that. The uh, director is Mamoru Hatakeyama, who worked on the Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinjo anime, the one about the um, the guy who does traditional Japanese comedy, where he sits down and does a, a bit in front of an audience, Rakugo. Also worked on Sankari Undying Love. The original writer is going to be working on the anime series, along with another, another tabletop RPG writer. That's going to be interesting. So... We'll see how it goes, uh, being developed at A1 Pictures, and another fantasy anime series. Can't complain about that, right? Also in older classic anime news, a Megazone 2-3 um, crowdfund project is in the works called Megazone 2-3 uh, XI, which is a, a Greek letter, uh, pronounced Psy. And the crowdfunding project is to essentially crowdfund promotional works that they can then pitch to various people to then make a full Megazone 2-3 remake or new project. Um, and I've got to double check. I believe it's, and I say it's remake, I'm not absolutely sure. Um, what they've shown has been the existing characters kind of redrawn and reanimated. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a complete... I expect it's going to be one of those things where it's... Um, oh, okay, there we go. Uh, it, it's going to be a new story set aboard the Megazone uh, 11, Megazone 1-1, which is a separate colony ship from the Megazone 2-3 in the original anime series. So it's going to be, yeah, uh, original story, and they have now crowdfunded the entire um, uh, pr promotional film that they want to make to pitch this to investors. Unfortunately, a project like this is just too expensive to ask for crowdfunding. You know, the, the several million dollars you would need from crowdfunding is just unlikely from, you know, a, a crowdfunding platform, but they can at least crowdfund the promotional material. So they've at least gotten to do a short film. Hopefully that will lead to something further. Good question from the chat room. 
Um, Record of Grand Crest War is, um, I believe, not directly related. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, I was reading up on this. The it looks to me like uh, Grand Crest War is set in the same world as Lotus War, but not connected to any of the events of Lotus War. So it's in a different part of the world, you know, completely separate. So somebody might mention Lotus. But it's not over there. Again, I'm not sure, but from reading the description, it sounds like it is the same world and setting. But don't quote me on that. We will see. So anyway, um, that's all the news fit to print this week. Again, look for more videos explaining some of the backstory on these. And see you all next week. Thanks.